Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes one and two of Simfigure X V. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one. In three, two, one, go. There we go. Oh my god, was that hard, computer? Um, are we sure this is <laughs> weird? Oh my god, um, Um, I was just like looking inside of a fucking tornado. Well, I do have to say it's prettier. I'll say that. It looks improved, though. I mean, we're only a couple of episodes. I mean, a couple of episodes. A couple of minutes. You know, I thought this opening was going to be something like, I don't know, I was expecting what happened in the first couple, <laughs> like the first minute. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, hmm, let's go to a concert and then a whole bunch of people die or something. I don't know. <laughs> when you're expecting something, but it's not what you were expecting.
Yeah. You would think Hibiki would just avoid that and have everybody else just go with the flow. Be like, you guys see this? I'm going to attack the main one. That's it. I, that's what I was assuming what was going to happen for a moment, but, you know. Um, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Well, we screwed. Mm-hmm. Time out. Game over. Throwing that flag. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a trick question.
it can't just be a simple fire on a ship. It's got to be something else. I mean, come on now. Let's think about that real quick. Like, I don't think it's the people at the beginning of this episode. It could literally be maybe the bad guy who did it. Mm, I don't know. Y'all know. I mean, what are y'all going to do? Try to, like, build Tiki's body back up and use her for something? Okay. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You showed that part at the beginning as, this is what happened before, <laughs> like, during. Here's everything before that situation to the point where you may see them lose. Is that what they're doing? They have to be doing that. Yeah, the coffin thing. A scorpion? We're not going alien, or, I mean, not alien. The thing? <laughs> I don't think Simple Girl would go the thing route. It would be funny, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, we all know how that ends, right? That's got some meaning to it. Maybe we won't get the answer until later on, but... Mm. See, I don't think Miku's gonna come up and do some bullshit. I mean, what else can you do with this situation currently right now? Okay.
<laughs> That's not always going to help, though. Can I also say, even though we're not done with this episode yet, this is going by really fast. Like, oh my god. We're technically somewhat almost done, even though we're only 17 minutes into it, but oof. Still opie as fuck, I'm just gonna say that. Season five. And she's still fucking OP. Thing just don't know when to die. Oh my god. <laughs> <You're> kidding me? <laughs> Great. I swear to God, if this thing does not die by the end of this episode, oof. Mm -mm. Well, um, you better think of something fast, honestly.
beautiful. That was beautiful. Really? That's it? <laughs> I told you. I told you. It went too fast. <laughs> it was like way too fast. Okay, so I have a lot of questions, specifically about the first minute of this show. What the heck happened? Like, I mean, who came in and attacked and killed these people? It could be our new baddies, like the three girls, because I'm guessing the two who were, you know, watching the girls in Antarctica and the one who was in her car driving like a badass bitch. I mean, honestly, she was driving like Hanbe Daisuke from Millionaire Detective. They have to be our bad guys of this of this season, like honestly. I don't know, but oh the things that like Adam said to her in the pretty season came back in a flashback, so that has to be an indication of something being connected that's gonna happen later on in this season. Because typically, usually when you look back at it, when you look at back at it, a little I can't speak right now. When you look back at almost every season of this show, something ends up coming back to connect each season. But I feel like anything from season one to season four is going to connect onto this, or specifically really anything from season four is going to connect this last season just to tighten it up in a nice little bow. But because of the fact is the person before they died mentioned Fine, of course that's coming back, so I have questions on that and what the heck that could mean. Um them taking back their future got a lot of questions about that i mean this is only really episode one but mm, you left me with a lot of questions for the answer <laughs> if a person comes out of that room Why would a holy corpse be in a coffin's body? I'm so confused now. Unless this thing is mysteriously gonna, you know, wake up, which I don't really think it is, but at the same time it could. We never really know because this is only really episode one. And we have a long time to go until we find out what in the world is happening, but okay. But what the? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean... For them to end on any little thing, let, let, let's talk about the all for all these seasons in a nutshell. I mean, each season has had a moment where it's ended at a really weird cliffhanger. I mean, this officially is the weirdest. You end on this, and you're, you, you, like I said, you leave a lot more, <laughs> with a lot more questions rather than answers, because why is there a body in there? I mean, yes, it's a coffin, specifically. And yes, there's supposed to be a body in there, but the thing that it's holding, what the heck is that? And I'm guessing it's going to be something to help Hibiki and friends, possibly mainly more of Hibiki rather than everybody else, because Hibiki is OP way too freaking much. I mean, this girl, child, oh my god. She's just so fucking OP. She's <laughs> like, oh my god, but it's okay, I love it. But still. I, I really thought that this la this episode was just going to end with somebody else getting killed. You open it with people who are slowly dying, a guy who's doing something, like, summoning something or sending something to Earth or to the moon. I think it was the Earth, really. Um, and then he dies, and then you just, okay, we're never probably going to talk about that or really see that again, but I'm, I'm guessing, like, between episodes, maybe forward to the end of the series that's possibly when they're going to talk about it again i'm not 100 percent sure but to start on that like it's not bad like props to you because honestly you made me think i was watching goblin slayer for a moment and i was like damn i'm like 
are we about to see <laughs> what everybody was like, oh no, Deja shouldn't watch this. Like, oh my God, she's a girl who just likes cute shit. And I'm like, no, that's not true. I like cute-ish, but I also like scary-ish and gore-ish. I'm like, you know, I'm a girl who likes to watch horror flicks. So if it's a whole bunch of blood everywhere, I'm okay with that. If you're not okay with me watching that, then <laughs> bye bye But I mean, ooh, could it possibly get worse than this? Yes. Maybe. I don't really know. I, I mean, it's the first episode, and I got one more episode before I'm done with, for the day with this show, but oof. Big oof. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty. Episode two in three, two, one, go. Well, yeah. But then he's dead, and y'all defeated it, and then... And they basically just show... Yeah, okay. I have so many questions about this fucking body. Like, why is it here? What purpose does it serve? <laughs> I mean, oof. Like, it's gotta be something. And it's probably something that is super duper obvious, maybe. But as of right now, I have nothing. I literally... Like, if you were to give me a thousand dollars, just tell me. <laughs> just for me. To tell you what I think is going to happen in this season, I... <laughs> but if you were like, here, you can take the money or you can just tell me what's going to happen, I'd be like, take the money. <laughs> but of course, it's just something that he needed. Everything, you know, no matter what, no matter how many seasons we're in, it always falls back to Fina. Fina did something, and we're dealing with Shadow Demon ish now. I mean, we're, we, are we going to the Shadow Realm? It's this Yu Gi Oh now. I mean, oof. I wouldn't be surprised about that if we do, but who knows? You know what? Let me strike that. We're, nope, we're not going to the shadow room. The girls are literally transforming into the freaking things that they just showed. What? Okay. Okay. Aww.
Makes sense. I mean, what else would they be offering, you know? Why do I feel like I see? I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to see this and I feel like it's so <laughs> No wonder it looks so familiar to me. I'm like, where have I seen? Too cute though. Her voice kind of sounds familiar to me. You know who it could possibly be? Because I think she is in this show and she's only in this season. Freaking kind of itchy nose. AKA Ichigo from Darling, Carol from Carol and Juze, and then Bochi. No, well, she wasn't Bochi. <laughs> Bochi, she was that one character. I can't remember her name. Yeah, um, that's something that you two are really all of you have. Oh my god, have not dealt before. So you can time out. Mm It's interesting that she fights not only with a claw, but, um, a suitcase? Um, okay.
Well, you know, she tried for her first appearance. I don't really know what her second appearance. But I don't think she's going to die. <laughs> if she does, I mean... Mm. I think I just spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, no. Mm -hmm. For now, <laughs> well, yes, but you still need to have normal lives. You can't always protect something 24 7. You need to go out, you need to practice, chill, something. You have a right to worry about it, but at the same time, you have a right to be just a regular old woman. I'm just saying. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, of course she's right. I mean, hey, she's your fucking girlfriend. I'm just saying. So my thing is, are they going to go, oh, technically it's unwrapped already. I, I would like to see the face though, if there is some the face that knows. <laughs> God, why are you such a dick? Like, oh. Can we just talk about how pretty this is? <laughs>
selfish. Oh my god. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. It, it can't be just as simple. But oof. Oh my god. I can't even imagine how long this took to animate. See, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god. Oh my god. And just get the mic and be like, yeah! <laughs> So we got a bat, um, I'm going to say a cat, and then whatever else their leader is. I mean, yeah, because of you. <laughs> My God.
She's not gonna quit, is she? Because. <sighs> oh, God. I don't know what to say. I don't. I don't even know what to say after that. What is this episode? Oh my god. Bro, what's the. That ain't happened. Oh my. It did though. But oh my god. This girl just killed a girl in front of Subasa. Like, are you kidding me? I figured this little girl was gonna be okay. Like, if she just hide, she would say ish. Nope. She dead. They all dead. This just got dark. I mean. Oh. Let's go and resurrect the person, right? Oh, no, she's actually. Okay. All right, but okay. <sighs> it's like episode one all over again. I I can't because even with the fact that they were just showing that in the flashback at the same time, like oh, like just in episode one, going back to all the way of last year when I started this series and thinking to myself. Well, this probably is never going to happen again. And I never said it in the video, but like to myself, I was thinking, hmm, we're never probably going to get a situation like this where it's a concert and ish and, you know, one of the two girls are possibly going to sacrifice themselves again and somebody's going to die, right? But I mean, thank God it didn't go like that. But now it's just, what in the world did the girl do to Sabasa? Like, what the fuck did she just do? Subasa is out like a mm, crazy now. I don't want to say, but she's upset that she couldn't save people. And of course, she's going to blame herself again for that. I mean, who wouldn't? Because if your job is not only to be a singer and, you know, give upbeat to people who fell down, but then also to save people and you don't do one of your jobs right. You feel like you failed not only yourself, but the people who just freaking died in front of you. Including this little girl. This little girl had no problems or anything. I don't think any of these people were expecting to die going to a concert. But you just never typically know. I was a little shocked and surprised. That, like, I mean, damn, you want to start a concert. You give me a song and then mm, everybody just dies. Like, I mean... Like, yeah, this is not, I mean, this show has kind of had some dark moments, but I feel like this whole rest of the season is going to be really, really dark. I'm not going to say, like, Fate Zero Dark, um, unless they want to go and do something that is Fate Zero Dark. I mean, yeah, killing, you know what, the trick that, killing that girl in front of Tsubasa, that is kind of a Fate Zero Dark, because it reminds me <laughs> of when I think it was, like, either episode... Two, three, or four with the little kid, and he heard something, and then he got pulled, and I was like, oh my god. Uh, it just, oh. Or even, like, another, where what's her face got killed with the damn <laughs> umbrella, which was the best death in that series, but, like, I mean, if this is just how it starts, it's gonna get worse. I feel like more people are gonna get... Every episode that we get to up until, like, the final three, more and more people are gonna get killed. Tsubasa is gonna feel a certain type of way. All the rest of the girls are gonna feel a certain type of way. So it feels like right now Tsubasa is, like, somewhat mind-controlled by a bunch of... Well, with the bat chick, I don't know. So if I could say another girl who's probably gonna get controlled, maybe Chris. I can see Kitty or Shirabe. Not really Maria and, of course, Hibiki. I think Maria and Hibiki, they'll be fine. But it would be interesting to see because, I mean, like, you know, I think it was, like, what, season two where we had, you know, them go against each other. I think if it was, like, one of them is mind-controlled 
or two or three and it's like a three on three battle where three of them are fine and the other three are mind control that would be good but i mean who knows this is only episode two and <laughs> we don't know what's going on i'm just like mm. i'm sitting here enjoying this ride just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> the roller coaster of emotions are just going. I mean, we went from a really nice, decent, happy episode to a terrifying episode by the end of this season. I mean, the second episode with people dying everywhere. And then this cuff bracelet, I have questions about. The person just turned to ash. So, I mean, they're, they're you know, they were, they were already dead. Now they're still dead. Who knows what the heck could happen next. But other than that, guys... That is my reaction review to episodes 1 and 2 of Simple Gear XV. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Thursday for Patreons. At, no. Mm-mm. 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 Strike that. Let me try that again. Next Friday for Patreons and for everybody else next Thursday for episodes 2, 3, and 4. Bye, guys.